morning, guys. It's time for that final trauma response. The trauma response of fuck it. And I think the trauma response fuck it, I think it's different for everybody. I think it gets to the point to where the nervous system just cannot hold whatever the situation is, whatever the emotional um, level of grief is, whatever that looks like for the person, the circumstance, I think it's different for everybody. I believe that you just get to the point to where fuck it and you start living for you. You start doing the things in your life for you. Um, I think the nervous system gets to the point to where it snaps and you hear that, right? You hear that saying, well, you just snapped, right? I think the nervous system can get to the point and that's why I'd say it's different for everybody because that snap looks different for everybody. Trauma induced psychosis, completely and utterly losing your shit, all of it. I think, I think fuck it, um, looks different for everybody depending on the circumstance. Okay. So we have trauma, we have dysregulation, and then we have the responses that we can receive, um, after the traumatic event or living in traumatic, um, neglectful, abusive environments. Next up, attachment styles. Because when you experience trauma or when you grow up in environments that are chaotic, unpredictable, that can be extremely um, stressful, your attachment style isn't secure. So then you learn how to attach to people from that experience. And then as an adult, you grow up um, attaching to people that come into your life this way, which can be um, unhealthy and can be toxic. Hope you guys all have a good day.